A lot of concerns stemming from the coronavirus are based on uncertainty. Information about this virus is unraveling in real time. Our reporter Rena Nakano sat down with a doctor to answer questions submitted by our 10 News viewers. Rena, what did she say were the exact symptoms of coronavirus? Yeah. Yeah, Kim and Derek, we know a lot of people talking about cold or flu like symptoms, but what exactly does that mean? We'll break it down for you. According to the CDC, the cold usually presents itself in the form of sneezing, cough, stuffy nose and sore throat. The flu brings up fever, aches, chills, fatigue, sneezing, cough and a headache. But the most common coronavirus symptoms include fever, cough and shortness of breath. You can see there are lots of overlaps, but the biggest difference is the respiratory aspect of shortness of breath. When you experience that, that's cause for serious coronavirus concern. I would say that the main thing that is different about the coronavirus is that it most commonly, more so than the others, causes shortness of breath. It's rare for the others to cause shortness of breath. So when should you go to the hospital? Dr. Alulari says don't panic and just run out the door immediately. First, make sure you have fever, cough, and especially shortness of breath. Then call your doctor to let them know of your specific symptoms so that the hospital or doctor's office can prepare for your potential arrival. For example, you may need a special type of room set up, you may not. Listen to their advice, then proceed. You may be asked to stay home and self-quarantine for the time being, or you may be asked to come in immediately to get tested. It all depends on that phone call. And again, the biggest lesson here is shortness of breath, and doctors say that is one of the biggest telltale signs of coronavirus. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Good information as a lot of people head into a weekend. Thank you, Rena.